Hey guys, in this video we're going to be going back to Dragon King's Intervention and we're going to be going for a much more budget run. So we're going to go to level 3, no items, no continues, no KOs. Now we're not going to grab a friend unit because I'm just going to demonstrate the most basic clear that can get it done. I'm even going to leave a party slot on our own party empty. We're going to 4 man it with 3 basically naked units and a single Dwayne. Now, obviously, if your Dwayne is not as well geared as mine, you should bring more units. Definitely add a friend, add another DPS, add another buffer, whatever you want. But I'm gonna be showing you just the super basic, simple way to get this done. So let's get in here and let's do a two turn clear. So this fight is very, very easy, just because you get a totally free turn with the boss's um, break gauge. So what we're gonna do, Save your Lightning, who is dual wielding swords, is going to triple cast Beatdown. <coughs> That'll bring the break gauge down to 1%. So now a single hit with anyone using a sword will break the gauge. So our Freevia is using a sword, and we're going to go ahead and 88 break the boss, sword in peril the boss, and then just whatever to hit the boss. And there the break gauge is gone. Now, when you break the gauge on this fight, um, the boss will completely skip his his turn when you break the gauge, except for an AoE dispel on your party. So we are going to get completely dispelled on the boss's turn because we broke the gauge. But that is all the boss is going to do. He's not going to attack or anything at all other than dispel us because we broke the gauge. So we're going to use Roberta to Dragon Killer, Fire Imbue the party, and we'll go ahead and do, um, uh, it doesn't really matter what else. We can just fire and be twice, who cares? And there we go. So now we're going to have Dark Knight Dwayne. Remember, we already did a Sword in Peril from Freevia. So we're going to just have him triple. We're going to use his 150 Amplify on turn one. Now, if you notice, his 150 Amplify is undispellable. So it'll still be there after the Dispel next turn. So 150 Amplify, and then just hit the boss twice with an attack. It doesn't matter which one. So here we go. Okay, decent chunk of damage on turn one. So because we broke the gauge, all the boss will do is dispel us. No big deal. We are good to go. So now we are going to kill the boss. So we've lost all our buffs except for our, dis our Amplify. So we're still 150 Amplified. So we're going to re-Dragon Killer, re-imbue the fire. We're not imbued anymore, we're gonna re-imbue, and then we'll do support from the skies for a big stat buff. Free Evia and Lightning, doesn't matter, we're done. And then we can just use the Atonement and Absolution, and there goes the Bayomet fight. Handled, Dwayne OP. So there was our turn to clear. Now we had two party slots empty, and I'm gonna show you the gear in a second. My Dwayne basically perfectly geared. Like you can't, you literally can't get any better. Oh, actually you could. Well, it doesn't matter. He's he's well geared. I don't have Elazul's STMR, so we actually could be slightly better. But um, <coughs> anyway, you get the idea. So uh, Dwayne did all the damage. There you go. And I'll show you the team. And two of the party slots were completely empty. The support units were all basically naked. They're all very old units. Roberta, Freevia are super super old. Um, Save Your Lightning is uh, a free unit entirely. There we go. Anyway, so Roberta, completely naked. Um, free Evia, just using a sword, literally nothing else. Save Your Lightning, dual wielding swords, literally nothing else. And then our Dwayne is well geared. Um, yeah, like I mentioned, he is actually, this is actually not perfectly geared because I'm missing Elizabeth's STMR and I could have done... You get the ID, he's well geared. He's well geared in any case. Um, so maxed... Uh, we didn't even use the LB. So just max Dragon Killer. That's all that matters. So grab a friend, Dwayne, and add your own your own units if you don't... Um, if, if, it's not, if it's not strong enough or just use, you know, like double Ebar or something like that. You could use kind of whatever. So this boss is very easy just because of that totally free turn. As long as you break the gauge on turn one, the boss will not attack you on turn one. But you will get dispelled, so, ha so have a plan to rebuff for the second turn. Anyway, see you in a bit.